With regards to, to lineup decisions and rotations, we, we had a, a conversation about just about the, the championship series just finished. Mm -hmm. uh, how much matchup type stuff do you generally look to do versus just trying to put your best rotation on the court first? Uh, I go backwards and forwards a little bit on this one. and um, uh, f For most um, opponents in most situations, um, I look to put my best, uh, my best starting rotation or my best uh, uh, situation at the beginning and and go from there. Um, in some matches, uh, I will look to uh, against some opponents rather. I'll look to uh, um, to match up something. Um, more often than not, because of the the team that I had, the matchup that I'll be looking for is uh, is a reception matchup against their best service, so that. Uh, we had a an unbalanced reception lineup, and so I uh, didn't want to have my weaker receiver, for example, um, receiving in uh, their against their best server in his best direction, um, for example, in setter and two, uh, setter and two or setter and three. So those kinds of things. So when he's in the middle of the court. Uh, those were the things that I looked at more often than not. Um, when I've looked at uh, at the other teams' distribution against our block, for example, I haven't found a lot of uh, a lot of differences. So that uh, uh, sometimes you have the feeling during the match, um, uh, confirmed by confirmation bias, that the other team will be attacking your setter, for example, but if you actually study it, it tends not to be uh, not to be uh, the case more times more times than not, and so uh, I don't tend to look for blocking matchups very much. So it'll be either my best rotation or uh, matching up their servers with our receivers. All right, to the whole blocking thing, have you actually done any research or seen any research with regards to? Teams actually attacking a supposedly weaker blocker with with more or less success than would be normally expected. Uh, I I have I've had a um, in in big uh, particularly when we played in finals and I've looked at how teams play against our um, um, our setter and it it. It has always been um, not much difference, so uh, if any at all. So the sample sizes, of course, end up being being small and and uh, and so on. Because in even in a, even in the course of a whole season where we play each other six or seven times, the samples end up being it's thirty or forty attempts. So um, the statistics, I think, are a lot less meaningful. Uh, than we often give them give them credit for, but um, the for most setters, most of the time, it's uh, rotation is a opponent's rotation is a small influence. Uh, your team's rotation, his team's rotation, is a slightly bigger influence, but um, his movement is bigger is the biggest influence on what their actual distribution is. And so I spend most of my time looking at that. Okay. And we can't control for that, so we can't um, organise our lineup. We can't uh, uh, prepare for uh, in the same way for right. those things. In general lineup terms, what's what's kind of your top priority when you when you pick a starting six? Group of of players that produce the best players, but the the combination. Of six that will um, be uh, that will produce the best performance and um, can have a complementary. This is about players that complement each other um, really more than anything. Okay, so, so you don't you don't necessarily think in terms of service eve or balanced attack or 
I mean, I, I imagine those are considerations as well, but you're trying, you're trying to think in terms of combination of personnel. Uh, it's it's all it's all connected. So um, yes, you have to have a balanced reception with a balanced attack. Um, I yeah yeah. So for example, in terms of balanced attack uh, with the setter in one is normally the most difficult uh, siding out rotation for every team. Um, so as a general rule, and I don't stray often from this. I have my best attacking middle uh, in the front row in when our set is in one because um, I want to be able to, with good reception, get out of there as fast as possible. So um, the better attacking middle um, should theoretically then balance the the two weaker uh, situations for position for the receiver and the the opposite. So. Uh, in that sense, uh, I'm looking for a balance. 